Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today I am doing an updated hair care routine for 2020 because there's a few new products that I'm using at the moment which I really like so I wanted to share them with you. So I've just taken my hair out of its towel, I need to comb it through and everything yet but my hair is very long, it's very thick and it is also naturally very curly but I do prefer to wear it straight so if I just let it dry now it would go into like a really frizzy mess but if I did put like a curl cream in or a mousse in and let it dry it would actually dry in a nice curl but I just prefer it straight I just find like I can manage it better that way I'm just going to talk you through my shampoos and treatments which I use on my hair because I do have to be quite careful. I suffer quite a lot with psoriasis and eczema and I do get psoriasis on my scalp so I do have to be very careful in what I use. I think because it is naturally so curly it also makes it extra dry as well so my scalp is very dry and then my actual hair itself is also very dry. So I'm really fussy and picky with what I actually use. So when I'm looking for a shampoo I need something which is for like very dry and coarse hair and I need something which is really intense and hydrating but that doesn't build up on your hair because I do only wash my hair like once a week or every five days because it just doesn't get greasy because it's just so dry so I need something which is really hydrating but that doesn't build up and is uncomfortable so I was using the Joico I think it was the moisture recovery shampoo and conditioner in like a blue bottle but over lockdown I could not find it anywhere. I think they've changed their packaging on a lot of their products and I think it was kind of, as that was going on, it just sold out everywhere and I could not find it. So I had to switch to something else and I have carried on using it, I really, really like it. So, so my alternative which I picked up instead were these which are from Redken and I've never tried this brand ever before. It's the All Soft Mega Shampoo and the All Soft Mega Conditioner and these just had really good reviews on their website. I can't remember how much these were but I think they were a bit more expensive than the Joico products and I think I've got a little bit less than what I usually get in those but these have been really really nice. They do make your hair really soft. It hasn't built up on my hair at all. I have only been washing it once a week or like every five days and these have been absolutely fine for me. They have helped my hair like hang on over lockdown because it's been months since I had a fresh trim which I did have a couple of weeks ago so these have really helped save my hair. I've used them a couple of times as well since I've had it coloured. Um, I only had it coloured a couple of weeks ago but it's been absolutely fine with the colour which is also something that I look for because I don't want to pay to have my hair done and then the shampoo that I use ruined the colour and this hasn't at all, it's been really really nice. So this is my current shampoo and conditioner, I'm definitely going to try a few more products from this brand so if you have any recommendations from Redken preferably for like dry hair, maybe like masks and stuff, then let me know down in the comments and I can try them because I've been really enjoying those. Hair mask wise, I do love hair masks. I only really use the Joico ones though because that's just what I'm used to and I know I really enjoy using those. So I've been using this one which is the Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. I really like this. This is the one I'd say I probably use the most. And then the other one that I've been using, I have run out of, which is also from Joico. It's the K-Pack. It's in like um it's in this kind of style but it's in like a gold packaging. I'm sure the one that I used was the Intense Hydrator. It was one of the four step treatments out of the K-Pack range. I'm sure it was the Instant, instant Hydrator I was using. I use a hair mask like every second or every third wash because I don't always need to use one. But these just give my hair a little bit of a boost especially when I'm coming up towards like my next trim. Sometimes the ends can be a bit bitty but something like this just really helps just keep it a little bit extra hydrated. I've freshly washed my hair. I'd say most of the sopping wet is out now because obviously I've been chattering away. It has started to dry on its own so I do need to brush it through. But if I had only one thing to say for this video, it would be to never ever ever brush your hair when it's wet. Only ever comb your hair through when it's wet because it does tear your cuticle. Even if it's a brush made for brushing your hair when it's wet, just don't do it only ever use a comb. My hairdresser tells me this all the time, I've not used a brush on my hair when it's wet for years and my hair never ever gets luggy. So always use a comb instead of a brush when your hair is wet. Once you've combed it through you can blow dry it with a brush that's fine but never like freshly brush it through with a brush 
when it's wet. Always comb it through first if that even makes sense. <laughs> So I was only using one product in my hair before blow drying or straightening but now I'm using two extra products and I have found these have made a really big difference to how my hair blow dries and how it straightens and things like that. So the first thing that I'm still using is my protein spray. This is amazing especially if you have like quite damaged hair. So this I'm only really spraying in my front bits because I'm finding these are the most damaged probably because I straighten these the most and when I have got a high ponytail in my front bits I do like quite tight so I find sometimes these can get a little bit bitty at the front so this is from Label M it's the protein spray and I've used this for years now I used to use it all over but now I only use it in my front sections okay so my protein spray is in the next product which I use is this which is also from Joico it's the Daily Care Leave-In Detangler for all hair types and I just spray this all over the mid lengths and the ends of my hair before I blow dry it. But this I definitely feel just adds that little bit extra shine to my hair which is really nice. I don't use it out of here, I actually decanted some into a Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. So what I've had to do on the cap is just write hair on so I know this is my hairspray and not my facial setting spray. So with this, I literally just go to town really and just spray it all in the mid lengths and the ends. And I do feel like this has made a big difference. It's made it a little bit more shinier. And I think this does help also with like how luggy my hair is. It doesn't really get like luggy anymore. So again, I'll just give that a little bit of a brush through, well, comb through. Okay, and then I finally got myself a heat protectant spray because I wasn't using one, which is really naughty. So I picked up this one from Joko and I absolutely love it. This is the Defy Damage Protective Shield to guard against thermal and UV protection. I'm very fussy because my scalp is so sensitive. I can't have any products in my hair which like leave a residue or that I can feel in my hair. And with these, I can't feel anything in my hair after I've used them, which is amazing. So this... It's like a cream and I use about one and a half pumps just roll it into my hands like that and then again I start probably like from the front and then I just run it through all of my hair but all in my front sections and like mid lengths and down and this also I think helps my hair straighten really smoothly as well which I love these three together for me make the perfect team. I can't feel them in my hair, they don't irritate me and they definitely make a difference to like how sleek and straight my hair goes in the end. It looks so shiny and so straight, obviously you will see at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly blow dry now and I do it in sections. I am in no way a hairdresser, I know absolutely nothing about hair. So don't judge by the way that I blow dry. But it's just the way that I find it easiest. To be honest, it's not long since I actually only started sectioning it. Before I would just like blast it dry and it took ages. But I find this is a lot quicker and I can blow dry my hair a lot more smooth um, doing it this way. I have lost the nozzle thing on the end of my hair dryer so I don't tend to use that anymore. This hair dryer has got to be years old like it's scary how old this is I did buy a new one a couple of weeks ago from Primark but I was really disappointed because the cable was so short once you'd plugged it in it wouldn't even reach my hair so I had to use an extension lead so I just gave up on that so I'm not using it anymore I use it on the highest heat and the high speed and I use a flat paddle brush and I'll face the hair dryer down and just go like in this motion to help blow dry it as straight as I can. It never goes like perfectly straight, it will still go a little bit frizzy but it's better to get it as smooth as I can with my blow dry and then I don't have to straighten it as much after. So I'm just going to really quickly speed through this because I'm sure you guys know how to blow dry your own hair. Okay, so this is how straight 
I can get it with the hairdryer. If my hairdresser was doing it, she would be able to blow dry it pin straight. I really wish that I knew like how to properly blow dry it, but I feel like that is a lot better than I used to be able to get. So I'm just gonna go in with the straighteners. I've stopped using my GHD straighteners because the, I've had, well I've had them, it must be like over 10 years now and I feel like the plates have just started to pull on my hair a little bit. So I've pinched these, which are actually my mum's, but I really like them. They're from a brand called Glamorizer. I don't know where she bought them from. But they're like a little touch screen so you can control the temperature. I put mine on 200 degrees and they feel so soft in your hair when you straighten it. So again, I do like similar sections, maybe a little bit smaller sections when I'm straightening. Yeah, when I'm straightening these, don't seem to pull on my hair as much as the others. I think I do need to invest um, in some more straighteners for myself. So I'm going to get some more, but for now I'm just going to pinch my mum's. So I'm just... Well, I'm sure you guys know how to straighten hair. I just do little sections and then just use my comb. At the end, I do like to sort of curve it round just so it doesn't stick out anywhere. I feel like it stays a little bit neater and I'm just curving it at the bottom. I feel like if I take my time with like my first straightening, after I've washed my hair as well, it stays like so much longer. So I probably don't have to do it again now for like another day or two. I probably won't straighten it tomorrow or Sunday. It'll stay really nice. I try not to go over it too many times, maybe like three times. There are a couple of things that I have changed actually with hair care. So I've changed my actual brush. I haven't got it with me at the minute, but my hair brush. I got one of those hair extension brushes rather than using um, like these with like the little bobbles on the end. I only use this for blow drying. But the rest of the time I use my hair extension brush instead. And I feel like that's also uh, making a difference in keeping my hair a little bit nicer. I just try and make it so my hair doesn't get like bitty at the ends because I hate that. And if I'm trying to grow it, then I need to try and take as much care of it as I can. Okay, then round the front, I do have to concentrate a bit more because I have these like little wispy baby hair things, which I absolutely hate because as soon as it's humid or it starts to rain, they decide to stick out and they just go so curly. So I have to really make sure that I've straightened those areas really well, just to try and keep them down as much as I can. I hope this actually looks okay because I'm only using the viewfinder to actually see what I'm doing. Another thing that I have stopped using is these Invisibobble things. I very rarely wear these now. I used to absolutely love these but because when I have my hair up I like it like quite high and I like it quite tight on my head as well. I feel like these are what has been pulling like my front sections and damaging them. Whereas these scrunchies, I feel are a little bit more softer on my hair. So now I only ever really wear scrunchies because I think I've been pulling the front bits a little bit too tight and that is what has just been making my hair a little bit snappy at the front. And a little bit bitty. Okay guys, so that is my hair care routine, all the products which I'm using to get my hair really super sleek and super straight. It's so soft, I love it when it's freshly done. If you have any more questions about my hair then please let me know in the comments and I will get back to everybody. But yeah, that is my hair care routine. I really hope you did enjoy today's I nearly said makeup tutorial, hair care video. Let me know if you did down in the comments. Please give it a big thumbs up as well and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.